Sometimes less is more, and weight really matters, especially in a kite. The Boxers are lightest, most responsive kite in our entire lineup. It's a single strut kite, meaning there's only bladder and strut material on one strut, where most kites have three or five. The single strut is also a luff strut, so that the canopy and the actual strut are not um, fixed together. There's a luff panel, a fill panel between the two, so the canopy can breathe between the strut. What this does is makes for a kite that has incredible sheathing to go. It also allows the kite to fly further back in the window than a kite without a luff strut. It makes it very, very forgiving in terms of its sheet in and go. It also makes it hang further back in the window so you can fly it further back in the window and keep it there so your flight doesn't overfly you in gusty winds. It's an incredible kite for riding underpowered uh, because the kite's lighter weight doesn't flag it down. It won't overfly you. It won't fall down as you bring it to the side of the window so you don't have to be chasing the kite so much. Really, really, really good for foiling, where you want to have instant power, sheet in, get going, and then neutralize the kite by depowering and keeping it right in front of you in the window and not having it fly forward in the window. Incredible water relaunch because it's so lightweight, and again, a kite that performs better than just about anything else in ultra light wind conditions, or if you want to just use the smallest kite possible and still make enough power to have fun riding. The Boxer is a great choice for a lot of riders, especially the ones that are not looking to ride super overpowered. If you're out doing mega loops and kite loops and riding unhooked, of course the Boxer would not be your choice. But if you just want to cruise, if you want to uh, get out underpowered and ride waves, if you want a kite with huge range and a kite that you're riding, for example, foiled or on a directional board, the Boxer is a fantastic choice. For this season, all sizes have been tweaked and panel count has been reduced for a lighter weight and even stronger kite. Uh, trailing edge reinforcements have been minimized so that we've got the strength needed without any excess weight. So the Boxer, which was already basically the lightest kite on the market, becomes even lighter and flies even better underpowered with more direct response than its predecessor.